Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Hey, so first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who were well. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akiyam, enduring afflictions, making her calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. It's your brother Kabar. Mr. Brother Yitzhazaka. And uh, we're back with another one. Lord willing to be edifying to the elect. Yahweh Bashim Haushai, Baharaka Kadash Brakadam. To all the sincere listeners who may hear this, uh, we're going to do this one entitled A Company Salvation. You know? It says, Everything don't concern thee. You know? So Lord willing to be edifying. Um, we're starting at Hebrews 6 and 9. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. God, this is uh, Hebrews 6 and verse 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we does speak. Yeah, that's that's the things that matter. Things that accompany salvation. Everything doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like some some things, like yeah, we touch on different things, but really the only thing that matters is things that accompany salvation. That's the whole point. We're trying to get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get saved out of what's coming, man. You know. And that's what we're persuaded of others, man. Things that uh, accompany salvation. That's what we want for the, uh, those who we, we preach to. You know, those who we teach to. You know, those who we come across. We, we're persuaded of better things that accompany salvation, man. You know, we're, we're, and we're persuaded those things of ourselves. You know, that, you know, things that accompany salvation. You know, not nothing else. That's the only thing we're supposed to be worried about. Salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Deliverance, man. You know? Hey, what, what, what the hell else are we worried about, man? You know, we're trying to get like we we know we, we can see down the pipeline that it's all out hell finna break loose, man. You know, we can see all out hell already breaking loose. We're in a horrible state, man. We're trying to get saved from this, man. So that's the only thing we need to be focused on: things that's gonna get us saved, what's gonna get us delivered. You know? Yeah. Kind of. You read it one more time, my Baba Kasha. Yep. This is uh, Hebrews 6 and verse 9. It says, But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. God, yeah, though we thus speak, man. You know what I'm saying? So we speak, you know what I'm saying, of, uh, you know, different diff different variables or variations of, of things that can happen. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, a good majority of our people are going to perish. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're, we're not, uh, that's not the things that we're focused on, man. We're not, we're not, we're, we're not hasting to see our people perish. We're hasting to see the deliverance of the elect, man. That's, that's, that's what we're hasting. How, how are the elect going to be de de delivered? Because they were uh, focusing on things that accompany salvation, you know? And what accompanies salvation? Well, spiritual things, man. Walking in the spirit of our Lord. That's the things that accompany salvation. You know, if you're not focused on the, the, the things that our Lord uh, told us to be focused on, then we're not, we're, we're not going to receive salvation, you know? So that's the things we're supposed to be focused on. We're supposed to be worried about nothing else, man. You know? Mm. That's right, brother. Getting that Titus? Con. So, if you want to add anything, I mean, Con. Yep. Titus 2 and verse 11. This says, For the grace of Yahweh Bashimi Shai that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. So the grace that's, that's uh, of Yahweh Bashimi Shai has appeared unto all men. You know, that's the favor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you look that word of grace. You pull it up. I could get it. Huh. Titus two eleven. That word grace. Strong's G fifty four eighty five. Strong's G fifty four eighty five. Charis. Charis. It's quite a bit. Grace. It says that which affords joy. Pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, loveliness, mm -hmm. grace of speech. It goes into goodwill, loving kindness, favor. Mm -hmm. And this one says, of the merciful kindness by which the Most High, exerting his holy influence upon souls, mm -hmm. turns them to Hamashiach, keeps, strengthens, increases them. And in, it says Christian, which we know Israelites are Christian. It says increases them in Christian uh, faith knowledge affection and kindles them mm. to the exercise of the christian virtues mm. yeah so that that has appeared to all men you know what i'm saying how has it appeared to all men through the service of yahabashi maosha you know through the service of yahabashi maosha they have uh they 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 they, they cause light to uh, appear to all men you know loving kindness and mercy and favor 
you know, the the the, the, the divine nature that's been bestowed upon Yahweh Shimei uh Yahweh servant has servants has uh you know been been pushed out so it can be shed abroad unto others, man. That has appeared unto all men, you know, through his servants, man. So if we proclaim to be servants, we're supposed to be pushing out uh that 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 that, that mercy, you know, that loving kindness, that that uh that, that divine nature which uh causes others to want to exercise uh, that that which is gonna uh cause them to receive salvation, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that that grace has appeared unto all men, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you read that up, you got something to add, brother? So, uh, nah, you, I'm a hold it. You got kind of you just read the uh, definition. Uh, read the first part and then the precept one time for me. I'll focus up. Okay. The, uh, the, the first part he's saying the part I just read the, uh, the first part of the definition it was like uh, okay it says grace this is that which affords joy pleasure delight sweetness charm loveliness grace of speech God that that which affords uh, loveliness joy pleasure you know what I'm saying that's that's what has appeared unto all men that which affords joy pleasure you know uh, 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 loving kindness you know loveliness Beautification, you know, this is what has appeared unto all men. So we're supposed to be pushing out things that bring forth joy and pleasure, you know. Which Yahweh Shemashah said he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, man. That's not pleasurable. That's not pleasing, man. You know, mm -hmm. what's pleasing is that people get this word and live, man. You know, change their lives, man. Walk in the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, man. You know, put to death the flesh, man. You know, mm -hmm. stop being uh, 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 wise in malice, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> God, nah. You said you had a precept up? Nah, I'm, you probably got it, but uh, oh, okay, when you talk about grace, you know, it, it, it you know, reminds me of um, Noah, you mm -hmm. know? I was thinking of it, yep. But um, back in Titus 2 and verse 11, it says, For the grace of Yahweh Shai that bringing the salvation hath appeared unto all men. You yeah, know? Man. Oh, you gotta go ahead, bro. Just uh, as in the times of Noah, man. You know, that grace was, was bestowed upon Noah. At the time of Noah, you know, uh, everybody had the opportunity to, you know, get on that ark, man. <laughs> it's not like, uh, you know, it was it was uh, closed off to particular people. Nah, man, everybody had the opportunity, mm. you know? And Noah did what he had to do. He, he, he let everyone know that you have the opportunity, man, you know? So just like in the days of Noah, man, there's going to, I mean, the vast majority aren't going to get it, but that doesn't mean that we're just going to be, uh, you know, giving up. Like, you know, we did a lesson that didn't come out, you know, but ultimately, you know, we, we want to have that hope, you know, have that, had that hope, you know, that, you know, people are going to get it, man, that people are going to repent, you know, like uh, General Yohanna, you know, like he, uh, he's out here literally telling, you know, Jake, you know, to get the max, you know. Ultimately, Lil Willen, he repents, man. Lil Willen, he repents from that from that madness, you know? That, that's really the mind state that Jake, you know, should have, you know, instead of just being quick to condemn, you know, Jake to uh, destruction, man. Back in uh, Titus. Back in Titus 2 and 11, it says, For the grace of Yahweh Bashim Shai, that bringeth salvation, hath appeared to all men. So that, that grace that Yahweh Hashem has bestowed, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, or, or that has appeared unto all men, it brings salvation, bro. You know what I'm saying? That that grace, that favor, that mercy, you know what I'm saying, that loving kindness, that loveliness, that joy, and that pleasure, that's what brings forth salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? So that grace that we have been given, we're supposed to give back, man. Why? Because that's what brings salvation, man. You know? And that's what we're supposed to want. Like the brother was just going into, we're supposed to want salvation for ourselves and those who hear us, you know, and those who, you know, proclaim to be of what we're, we're of, man. You know, now we know the scriptures say that, uh, you know, uh, there, there's going to be false prophets who arise. You know, there's going to be grievous wolves. They're going to be those not sparing the flock. You know what I'm saying? But it says that, it says that uh, ultimately, um, it, it says ultimately, uh, if, if, a, if a man ain't, ain't right, he gonna select like, you. Know, I'm thinking of St. John 17 and 12. Uh, none is lost but the son of perdition. You know what I'm saying? So unless you're, 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 not, you're not gonna be lost unless you're the son of destruction. Now, if you're the son of destruction, you were set up to be destroyed, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You 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 are already destroyed of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're already accursed. You know what I'm saying? Like we what what the hell we focused on that for? You know, if somebody ain't right, they they not gonna be right to the end. You know, things we need to be focusing on is what affords pleasure and joy. You know why? Because that bring of salvation. You know that's 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 what we worried about. Mm -hmm. Let let you have a shot worry about the other stuff, man. You know, well he already got it taken care of. He, what what are we supposed to be doing? You know, be be mm -hmm. we're supposed to be basking in his grace, man. You know. Yep. For the grace of Yahabashim Hashah that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Verse 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. God, that's how we're supposed to live in this present world, man. We're supposed to be denying ungodliness and worldly lust, man. What's the example of worldly lust, man? You know, desiring uh the desiring the hurt, to hurt hurt for others, desiring to uh get uh, have something, you know, to, to be better than somebody else, man. You know, desiring to, uh, you know, shine and, and, and shit on somebody, man. You know, desiring to flex on somebody. Desiring, you know, to, 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 to be the best. You know, which is nothing wrong with it. aspiring to be the best. But it's a limit to that, though, man. You know, you don't let that puff you up, man. You know, that's ungodly, man. It's not being... Because uh, ungodly goes into being irreverential towards your Habashi you Mouth Shot. You know, you're not respecting... Or referencing Yahweh outside, you don't do that when you don't uh, acknowledge that, acknowledge your offenses. You know what I'm saying? Acknowledge that you're worth destruction. Acknowledge that you know what I'm saying. The only reason that you're in the position that you're in is because Yahweh Shimon has bestowed grace mm. upon you, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 ungodly, man. And right. that's irreverential towards Yahweh Shimon Shah. You you pretty much mm -hmm. thinking you in this point because you deserve to be, man. You know, don't none of us deserve this, man. You know. Mm. And that's, and that's how you live justly before Yahabashim Shah. You can't live justly before Yahabashim Shah without um, being of that contrite spirit, of that broken heart, man. You know, having that humbleness of mind, you know. You can't live godly and justly before Yahabashim Shah like that, you know, w without that, you know. Kind of. Uh, I got one, but I can hold it. You got it, bro. Just uh, get one real quick. Say Matthew 19. Um, this is uh, St. Matthew chapter 19. And I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Yahweh He says, Why callest me thou Slakia. He, he says, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh Bashim Shai. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So, you know, the point I'm bringing this out, you know, is because ultimately, um, this is Yahweh Shai saying that there is none good. And this is Yahweh Shai. <laughs> He's saying that there is none good. Why are you calling me good? You know? So, there's, there's none good but one, man. You know? Just because, all right, you know, we might have. Uh, certain understandings that we might do to particular things all right compared to others that's better but that that don't mean nothing man there there's none good but one man you know just because all right you can look at somebody else in comparison all right that don't make you better than somebody if you're uh you know so-called uh doing something that somebody's not doing you know if someone's going off and you're not going off in this particular thing that that, that don't make that that don't mean that you're gonna get salvation just because you're pointing somebody else out in their downfall, that don't mean you're not going to be going down with them. Right. You know, you're telling people about terrible things that's going to happen. You, you, I got to preach that back you up, please, huh. 16, 7 to 20. But you, 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 you're telling people uh, terrible things that's going to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? Which we know 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, tells us, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord will persuade men. Yep. You know? So, yes, we do persuade men through the terror of the Lord. Okay, but that's just just because you're telling somebody about terrible acts that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That 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 doesn't uh justify you as good, man. Those terrible acts can happen to you. You know, terrible. They say Yahabashim Asha is terrible unto the sons of men. You know, Yahabashim Asha, bro, he'll do you dirty, man. You know, he'll do you dirty. No matter who you are, man. You know, no matter who you are. You know, Yahabashim Asha don't owe none of us nothing. You know.
So knowing that for the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we persuade uh we, we, we persuade men through the terror of the Lord. Okay, but we also, you know, make sure uh we're we're, we're delivering that through the goodness of our heart, man. You know? We're, we're delivering that through the goodness of the, of the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, through goodness, man. You know. Just telling somebody about terrible acts, man. You know? That's not good. Right. You know? And that don't accompany salvation. God, bro. <laughs> You can say that, but that's not profitable for yourself. God, bro. <laughs> you got to do more than that. God. God. All you worried about is just terrible acts and terrible things, man. You know? Yeah, how about you not saying whore, man? He, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can be a, 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 a whore to you. You know what I'm saying? But that's, if you're not uh, living within godless, if, if that's if you're not focusing on the things that uh, afford joy and pleasure, man. <laughs> you know? If you focus, if you focused on displeasure and terror, that's what's gonna come to you, man. Yeah. That's uh, I get this uh, Ecclesiastes seven and twenty. Yeah. It says, "For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not." Yeah, you got it. Yeah, there's not a just man, you know, and a just man that's that's a righteous man. But it says here, "For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not." Mm -hmm. So, you know, we we all fell short. You know, in, the, in that particular category, we all need what we need. We need grace, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was bestowed upon all men. Mm -hmm. You know, all men, which you know, we're talking about the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, <laughs> this is something that needs to be uh, to be teached, man. You know, you you could talk about you know whatever else you want to talk about, but you want to make sure that you want to talk about things that accompany salvation. Mm -hmm. Cause that's all that matter. You know, the terror, terror, terror doesn't accompany salvation. Right. What the hell they got to do with salvation, man? You know? Right. Right. Like we was talking the other day, like a lot of times when we at camp, you know, when we're talking to somebody and then, you know, they end up having to leave. It's like, hold up, you know, uh, you know, the most house about to visit this place, right? You know, you know, the, the lake, lake of fire, the missiles about to hit this place, right? So, knowing the terror of the Lord, that's basically what we do, but we do it to persuade men to, to let them know to repent mm -hmm. and truly, truly have that hope, not to just condemn them though most house gonna destroy this place you know what i'm saying and in the back of a lot of brothers minds like yeah you know what i'm saying they don't have that hope that they repent mm -hmm. you know done. you're done you don't yeah. take heed to that oh you you don't take heed to hearing that the lake of fire is coming and that esau edom is going to implement a vaccination in, a, in, a, in the market of beast well that's that's because you're set up to die that's what's going to happen to you you know what i'm saying but we're supposed to be persuaded better that, 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 that of, of things that accompany salvation you know, we, we say we say these things because we don't want people to take part in them, man. You know, right? Jump back, Titus. Back in Titus, chapter two, in verse thirteen, it says, "Looking for that blessed hope." In the glorious appearing of the great oh, power. Oh, you read 12 again. I, I'm Con. Verse 12, it says, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Mm -hmm. You read 13. It says, Looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great power in our Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Mm. So that's, that's how you live uh, soberly, justly, and righteously. It's by looking for that uh, that that blessed hope of our Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. You know, and that blessed hope, you know, is it supposed to be uh, through us in service of, of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. You know, that's supposed to be through us. You know, we're supposed to represent that that blessed hope, man. You know, and that's what we're supposed to be looking forward to, man. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach coming to gather His men, coming to gather His people. You know, you know. Bringing that salvation, you know, saving us, our Savior, you know, we we, we want to be saved. We want others to be saved, man. You know, from this peril, man. That's what it's all about, man. Being saved, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse fourteen: Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity. And purify into himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Yeah, zealous of good works, man. You know, that's why Yahweh Shah Mashiach was given that to us, man. You know, 
to, 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 to redeem us from the works of the world, to redeem us from the flesh, you know, and that's and that's what we that's what we're supposed to want for others, you know, as servants of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashak is them to be redeemed from the flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? Redeemed from uh from, from bad works, you know, to be zealous of good works, man, you know. Which good works are things that afford joy and lovely and loveliness, man. There's no way around that, man. You know, good works ain't ain't ain't, ain't saying, oh, you 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 gonna die if you don't get it right, man. That's not a good work, man. You know. Mm -hmm. you know just, cause cause people are gonna die if them, but that down is the, you ain't did a service. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna <laughs> die anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What what service have you done? You know, telling somebody they're gonna die if they don't get it right, man. You know, should you gonna die if you don't get it right? But what, what, what goodness is that really? What, what good did you really do through that? You know, mm -hmm. like what good did you bring from that? You know, mm -hmm. like someone working at a job, you know, and you know the boss is telling uh, one of the workers like, all right, it's a list of people that's they need to get laid off. You need to go ahead and you know let them know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they do that and they, you know what I'm saying? They're like, all right, cool. Job done. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Your job is done, too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good, like, that, that didn't do any good service for yourself, man. Good, bro. You know? <laughs> that didn't do any good service, man. The hell does that matter, man? And then what, what service did it do for another person, too? All they did was die. <laughs> it right. helped them not die. They still died. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because we're talking about the top spirits on the earth, man. You know, it's going to be in that spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. The mediator. He's the mediator between us as a people in the Most High. You know, and being in that body, we're going to come in that same spirit, being the mediators, man. You know, praying praying for our people, man. Low willing, you know, low willing, they get mercy, man. Low willing, they get grace. Nah, bro. You know? you know, and those who don't get mercy and don't get grace, low willing is not us. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, it's not us, man. Lord, and, you know, whomever has to perish, that's the Lord's will, man. That ain't that ain't none of our business, man. You know, that ain't none of our business, man. You better just hope you're not on the Lord's hit list, man. Lord said he's going to give mercy to whom he give mercy and compassion to whom he gives compassion, man. And right. those who are going to give mercy and compassion to those who are being mercy, merciful and compassionate. If you're not merciful and compassionate, you're not you're not getting mercy and compassion. Who the right. hell do you think you are? Right. You are not the elect. <laughs> <laughs> God, you know, man. if you're not having mercy and compassion, man. God, bro. Because we we know, like this is we talking about the top spirits. We come into this thing. We have that hope, low willing. We're we're the elect, you know. Mm -hmm. But the top spirits of, of, of the earth, you know, are going to be in that spirit of doing things that accompany salvation. <laughs> you know, they're not going to do things that accompany destruction, man. God, bro. God, bro. Jump into Hebrews. God, bro. This is the book of Hebrews 2 and verse 1. It says, Let's lock it. It says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're supposed to give earnest heed to the uh, earnest heed to the things that we have heard, lest at any time we let them slip, man. You know, and what's what's the things that we have heard? Well, you have heard from the beginning that you ought to love one another, man. You know what I'm saying? You heard that from the beginning. You heard from the beginning that you're supposed to love Yahabashima Shah with all thy soul, man. You know what I'm saying? You heard that you're you're, you're supposed to uh you're, you're supposed to be focused on things that um you know pertain unto salvation, man. You're supposed to be worried about uh spiritual things, man, spiritual insight, man. Unless you let these things slip and then you start you 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 you, you want some whole other stuff, man. You know, you haven't been getting earnest heed to the things that you have heard through the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and his disciples, man. You start, you on some whole, you you in a whole nother zone, man. You don't let that slip and now you want some new shit. You done created a whole new culture, you know? Mm -hmm. It says, verse 2, For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, Verse 3, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard them? Kind, yeah, I heard by, him. Kind, by them that heard him, they say, uh, my sheep hear of my voice. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah Masha said, My sheep hear my voice. So the, the, the sheep of Yahweh Shah Masha, they're going to be proclaiming what Yahweh Shah Masha told them, man. You know what I'm saying? I tell you about that Isaiah the 8 chapter says, Bind up the testimony in my disciples, man. So the testimony has been bound up in the disciples of Yahweh Shah Masha, man. You know, they, 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 they have the, uh, they, they have the keys and the tools to receive salvation, man. You know, they, they have the, uh, but, but how, how are you going to receive salvation if you neglect the things of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Masha? How are you going to get it? How are you going to, how are you going to get salvation if you're neglecting the things that really matter, man? You know, how are you going to get it? It's, it's, it's no way. You talking about salvation, the elect, you know, being delivered. How in the hell are you going to get salvation and be delivered if you're neglecting what it takes to be delivered? That don't make no sense, man. You know? That don't make no sense. You're not getting it, man. You got something, bro? Um, alcohol. You said verse uh, four. Oh, it's morning. I mean, we have verse four, you know, question mark. Oh, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Verse 3 says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, it was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Yeah, it was confirmed unto us by him that <coughs> by them that heard him. Okay? But everybody ain't heard Yahweh shot my shot, man. You know? <laughs> Only his sheep has heard him, man. You know? So that's a, that's another scary fact. That's a terrible thing. You know what I'm saying? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, that's a terrible thing of, of, of Yahabashi Masha. You could think you've been unheard, Yahabashi Masha, but you ain't. You heard somebody else, man. You know? Mm -hmm. You heard you heard another spirit, man. It wasn't the spirit of our Lord. Because it's it, it, it tell you about that in 2 Corinthians the 11 chapter about him that preached of another Yahweh Shah. You know? It's it's other Yahweh Shahs, man. You know? <laughs> Have you heard the true Yahweh Shah? You know? That that's that's a scary thing, man. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah, my shock, he told us certain things, man. You know, and his sheep, they're gonna adhere to those certain things that he told them. They're gonna abide by them and live by them and teach them, man. you know. And them the ones who are gonna receive salvation because they didn't neglect what Yahweh Shah my shot told them to, to receive it, you know. Then Sirach 3. Oh, you said you had one? Um, yeah, I had one. Let me get it. Um, St. John 10. This is St. John 10, and um, the point is really just in 31, but I might read down. This is St. John 10, in verse. Hmm. I mean, I might as well start up. Verse 30, you actually quoted 27, so I can start there. Mm -hmm. It says, St. John 10 and 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. It's Yahusha speaking. It says, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You know, we know this is talking about the elect, the chosen. It says, My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. This is heavy, you know. You're talking about uh, deliverance and salvation. It's only particular people who are chosen. You know, no man's going to be able to pluck them out of the Most High's hand, man. It says, I and my father are one. And then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Mm. <laughs> and that's... And, uh, and there's no new thing under the sun. You know, those particular people who, who are taking up stones to stone Yahweh Shai, they're here today too, man. You know, they're here today too, man. You know, a lot of them believe in Yahweh Shai, so called. You know, a lot of them have the, have the name and all that, man. You know, but they're ultimately uh, stoning Yahweh Shai, you know, in the spirit, man. You know, because they're not, they're not uh, believing, man. They're not truly believing in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. You know, I mean, they, they look at the particular things, man. They look at any any little thing and you no, know, and they want a reason to to, to to Hulk smash, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Take take up the stones and stone them, man. Mm. You know, that, that's not that's not the spirit. <laughs> yeah. Yahweh, he didn't he didn't even partake in none of that, man. Yeah, yeah. Whenever Jews was taking up stones and stone somebody, he was he was the mediator, man. Mm. 
but as we do it all that, man, <laughs> it's over with, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna get this. Jake finna get a big stony. You know what I'm saying? We know the time of Jacob's trouble is gonna be horrendous, man. A great, great tribulation. We know about bodies gonna be on top of bodies out here. You know, pertaining to Jeremiah the 25th chapter. You know what I'm saying? But uh, ultimately, after that, that's it, man. It's, it's over with for Israel, man. The, the punishment of thine iniquity has been accomplished. Mm -hmm. like, brother, kind of. You know what I'm saying? It's right. You got some more? Oh, go ahead, brother. Um, you know, that was really the point. But, yeah, just to add, like, this is like, um, Jake, they, they want to uh, make it seem like, you know, having mercy, it makes you like a, a pushover. You, you, they want to make uh, Yahweh shy or the most high for that for that matter you know the fact that he's so merciful that it, that makes him a, a, a some type of pushover or something man you know nah man i mean that that's <laughs> that's a high level offense to to be uh having that line of thought and be teaching things contrary all right to to the good news the fact that we we have that that mercy man and we gotta distribute that same mercy that we was given mm -hmm. you know and if, if you don't understand that like i mean like the scriptures brings out <laughs> you know i mean my sheep hear my voice. So if you don't hear what Yahweh is saying, if you if you're not coming in that same spirit, you know, if you're not following what he commanded us to do, you know, then hey man, you might not be that sheep, man. I got a couple. You got you got some. <laughs> you got it, bro. God, can you uh, get wisdom of Solomon 12 and 18? Or it might be 19. Let me say what thou mastering thy power. Uh-huh. This is a. Uh, I think it's eighteen. It says, "Wisdom twelve and verse eighteen. It says, "But thou, mastering thy power, judgest with equity, and orderest us with great favor, for thou mayest use power when thou wilt." Mm. What, what nineteen say? Uh, it says, verse nineteen: "By such works hast thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful." Woo! And has made thy children to be of a good hope that thou givest repentance for sins. We'll break it down, huh? Come on. You know, this is wisdom of Solomon, man. We know Solomon as Yahweh shy. You know, he says, By such works hast thou taught thy people that the just man, all right, we know that that's, that's the righteous man, mm -hmm. people that's righteous, all right, should be merciful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, I mean, shh. This, this, I mean, they don't even need to get break down, man. That, that's 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 it, man. I mean, we talking about mercy. We talking about something that that we all need, man. Ah. We talking about grace that was bestowed upon all men. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you, you doing a uh, like let 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 certain people know that yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you know, technically mercy, you know, they qualify for it, but yeah, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just hold the. I'm gonna just shut the door. Shut, shut, shut the elevator on him. You know what I'm saying? Shut the elevator on him. Get the fuck out of here. There's no more room in this elevator. <laughs> <laughs> like damn. And, and, and look, and, and what you were saying too, brother, like about how um, you know thinking that Yahweh way, Yahweh shy, are some kind of pushovers because yeah. you know this, 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 this is being taught. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're merciful and they're loving and they're caring and they, and they want you to be in that spirit. But it says, but thou mastering thy power. You know what I'm saying? By him mastering his power, that mm. shows his equity mm. and that shows his righteousness, man. Mm. That's the whole point of it, man. Mastering mm -hmm. your power so you can show forth equity and, 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 and mercy, and mercy mm -hmm. man. And that's what Yahweh Shemashah want us to get. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Right. Like he can uh, hell no, nah, he ain't no pushover, man. Right. You know, we know who the <laughs> hell Yahweh Shai is. Yeah. We know Yahweh Shai, he ain't no pushover, man. Right. Who you think he was a pushover yeah. when Holmes slapped him in the face, man? You know? When that right. when that when that chief priest slapped him in the face, mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai would have killed his ass, man. You know? Mm -hmm. But but what he do, he, he let it rock, man. Because right. he was mastering his power to show forth equity, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And mercy, you know. Right. They don't make you no pushover, man. Right. And that's disrespectful to Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. disrespectful as fuck, man. That's that. That's that ungodliness, up. Huh? You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like they say in the world, you know, it takes somebody's kindness for weakness. Mm. You know, like nah, man. You know, if someone's truly kind, that don't make them weak. Kind, brother. You know, but someone's gonna take that for weakness. Mm. You know, what I'm saying you don't be mistaken, especially Ooh. with Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you don't <laughs> do that. Yeah, kind, bro. That's 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 a hell of a point, huh? Mm -hmm. Yo, I got one more. No, okay. this is 2 Corinthians 11. Might as well, can you read 3 and 4 for me? Bible Kasha. 
God. Second Corinthians 11 and verse 3, it says, But I fear lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. Yeah, a lot of a lot of men's mind has been corrupted from the simplicity that's in Yahweh Hamashiach, man. You know what I'm saying? That plainness, that purity. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that, that simpleness, man. That you know that that, that uh, matter of fact, can you look it up? Uh, the word simplicity. Blue letter or um, can we can we get it on Google? Come on, come on. Simplicity. Simplicity. It goes into the quality or, or condition of being easy to understand or do. Mm -hmm. the, the quality or, or condition of being easy to understand or do, man. A lot of people have been corrupted away from that, man. You know what I'm saying? And now, now it's got to be, it's, it, 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 it's, it's way more. You know, to be a servant of Yahweh Shai Mashak, you got to. Man, tell him motherfucker he gonna bow down or get his head chopped off. You know what I'm saying? That's the, like that, that, bro. That's not that's not what details of being a servant of your house shot my shot, man. You ain't you ain't gotta be in that type of spirit, man. Where the hell that came from, man? You know. But a lot of people have been corrupted from the simplicity that is in your house shot my shot, man. Something that's easy to understand and do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like every everybody ain't got that. Well, Jake, the the, the moral morally innocent Jakes, like. They don't have that type of nature in them, man. They don't make them effeminate, man. Just because you don't want to just go slice somebody's head off, man. Because you don't want to, you know, tell somebody they're going to fucking die, man. Mm -hmm. You know? They, 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 they make you not of... They, they make you uh, a, a, a feminine, you know? Mm -hmm. They make you soft. <laughs> they don't make you soft, man. You know? Now, if the Lord, yeah, how about Shemal Shah told us to slice heads off, we're going to slice heads off. But he ain't told nobody to slice no heads off, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Come. Right. You look at that Peter, man. Peter, you know, he sliced the ear off. He was like, hold up, nah, man. We ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. <laughs> God, you know, it's simply play, like just sit your ass here and chill <laughs> and deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Come right. On. Um Simplicity, it was more you want me to get on that or uh, else? You had looked at uh, the the uh, synonyms. synonyms. Yeah. It goes into clarity, mm -hmm. intelligibility, it says luc uh, lucidity. Coherence, mm. directness, mm. accessibility, mm. accessibility—something that's easily, easily accessible. Now it's, it's easy. It's mercy, mercy, kindness, and, and loving, and uh, loving, loving uh, kindness, um, compassion, um, goodness, meekness, temperance. These things are easily accessible. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta, you you gotta go to a certain type of mode to be like, man. I'm ready for niggas to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you gotta like kick in a certain type of gear. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You yeah. gotta be like, oh, I'm, I'm meditating terror. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you gotta med you gotta meditate on on terror to like kick into that gear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's really some type of corruption that gotta happen. You know, yeah, like kind of, scriptures talk about being that newborn babe. Mm -hmm. A newborn baby ain't gonna really have that malice. Mm -hmm. So like, you know what I'm saying? They gotta go through something. They got, you know what I'm saying? They gotta go through something to make them feel like. That that feeling of like wanting revenge, yeah, and wanting, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to have some bad done to somebody. Mm -hmm. Want to see vengeance, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's like, not that's not pure. Yeah. That's not a pure trait. Yeah. That's beautiful, bro. Yo, I think that's why I wanted you to get it because is do us do one of them definitions have like purity in it? Um, let me see. Plainness, austere. I see. I see. Yeah. Plainness. Yeah. Yep. Plainness. Mm -hmm. Yep. Simpleness. Mm -hmm. It goes into. Uh, yeah, plainness, austerity, austerity. <laughs> yep. You know what I'm saying? So like, Purity, I, was, yeah. I, I was telling, I was telling um, you brothers, um, austerity has multiple uh, definitions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, 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 don't, you don't have to, if you're an austere man, you you don't necessarily have to be stern. You know what I'm saying? Or just like, and even if you're stern, that can mean plain. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're stern, you just like, no, I'm not bludging from. This this way of doing things, you know what I'm saying? But it, you could just not be budging away from simplicity. It don't it don't mean you just like, okay, I'm about to smash on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, or my right. mean hard hard ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. You know you're you, you could be enduring hard as, as a good soldier for your house shot my shot. You know what I'm saying? That can make you austere. You know. Mm-hmm. 
don't necessarily mean you just like a mean, mad, hard ass, you know? Con. Yep. Yep. You could you could be militant, so to speak, and not be like, you know what I'm saying? All about like cutting somebody's head off. Right. It's just right, being bro. like you know what I'm saying? Being disciplined, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Being just stern and you're not you're you're not movable. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's what disciple go back to it. Uh, uh, disciple. disciple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See? Yeah. Yep. And like you said, it goes into uh, purity, mm-hmm. restraint, mm. naturalness. Ooh, restraint, bro. <laughs> restraint. That's that's what the simplicity of Yahweh Shah Mashiach is all about. Like you you brought out the uh, point, the example of uh, Apostle Peter. Apostle Peter, he he, sl- he sliced uh, the, uh, the the servant's uh, ear off. And Yahweh Shah was like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because he wanted, th- this is simple. You know what I'm saying? You got to restrain yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's the mm-hmm. whole point of the simplicity of, of, of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Just bow down, do your job, and shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's simple and plain, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Just do, do easy things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not hard, man. You know? Mm-hmm. God, nah. Yep. Don't want to tear the Lord, man. Be persuaded, man. Like, we, we know the prophecies come to pass. It could be a time coming real soon you know gurgur troops cook, c- kicking in the door you know what i'm saying like we gonna need a higher power on that time man we gonna need so, uh, the most high to be dealing with us man it's a, it's truly a fearful thing we don't we, we, we can't be out here just thinking that we good out here man mm-hmm. you want to be as as meek and modest i think that's one of the yeah modesty is actually mm. on there too Ooh. modesty is on there too bro <laughs> god you want to be modest man <laughs> that's the simplicity of mashiach man Innocence, come on, man. Innocence, that, that's that, 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 uh, a, a, a morally innocent. That's who Jacob is, a mor- morally innocent. You right, know what I'm saying? plain, yeah. Yeah, that's what, a, that's what a righteous man is. He's just like, he's, he's, he's morally innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't, he, he can't do too much. Why? Because he's, he's pure. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's not trying to be tainted. Like, is he, because any, like if we if we supposed to be like letting our garments all be white, always be white. White can easily be stained. You know what I'm saying? White can easily be stained. That's why you're supposed to like com- be careful to walk in purity because you can easily corrupt your what your you know your uh, white your white you know your holiness. Mm-hmm. You know that white is representation for your for your for your innocence and your purity. You know. Yep. Oh, yeah, you, you said what? Uh, you said modesty too. I, yeah. Uh, can we get First Timothy two? Um, about the modest apparel. I just want to make a quick point on that because we was talking about the uh, garments. Letting our garments always be white. You know what I'm saying? Which that's our apparel. You know. Mm-hmm. Where we start? Uh, is it like 13, 14, 15? Uh, holding women, uh, modest apparel. God. Okay. This is uh First Timothy chapter two. Uh, yeah, it says First Timothy two and verse nine. It says, "In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's it. That's in semblance. I, I, I pull this out to to apply this to us because we're liking us to women. You know, we're we're like the most highest women. You know what I'm saying? So we're supposed to. Uh, be uh, arrayed in, in modest apparel, you know what I'm saying, and shamefacedness. You mm. know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that, that, that represents that humility and that and, and that plain innocent mm. nature that we're supposed to have. You know what I'm saying. Mm. That's fire. God. Being the Most High's wife, this is how we need to be, man. Mm-hmm. Just like how our woman need to be towards us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, when when the one venture to put your soul and your foot on the ground, you know what I'm saying, because of reason of delicateness. Mm. You know what I'm saying. That's right. That's fire. Um, here we go back. What was that? Second Corinthians 11, right? Okay. Uh, Grand uh, three. Grand four. Back in Second Corinthians 11, and uh, verse 3, it says, But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. Mm-hmm. It says, verse 4, For he that cometh preacheth another Hamashiach, Yahawashai, whom we have not preached, or if we receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel 
which ye have not accepted, mm -hmm. ye might well bear with him. Woo! God, bro. So yeah, you. If 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 you if if you if you dealing with another Yahweh Shai my shot, if you dealing with another spirit outside the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai my shot, well, that's gonna be you. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 gonna that's your savior. You know what I'm saying? Let let that save you. You know what I'm saying? Let that save you. You know. And the whole point we was bringing this out because you there's there's more than a, there's, there's there's other Yahweh Shai's. You know what I'm saying? It's other Yahweh Shai my shots, man. It's, it's like you saying, it's brothers. Who have the name of Yahweh Shah my shot, but they not they got they are in another spirit. That's another Yahweh Shah my shot. That's an imposter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got you got imposter Yahweh Shah's out here, man. Just like it say many false prophets shall arise and mm -hmm. oh many and many false anointed, many mm -hmm. false Christ. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Many of my shiaks, man. So it's many of my shiaks out here, man. That's what you gotta be careful. Like what 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 Lord are you serving? You know? Straighten our path, man. You know, it's a broad, broad path to destruction out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but truly come in the spirit of Mashiach, that that's what accompanies salvation, man. Mm -hmm. The body of Mashiach, man. Mm -hmm. Which is complete simplicity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, it's not hard or, you know, it's, it's not understandable. You know what I'm saying? Yep. God. Yep. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 3, and verse 23. It says, Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shewed unto thee than men understand. Yeah. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, man. Certain things are just, it's, it's not necessary. You know, it's not needed. Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, you know, some months back when you had, you know, we had, we had the dialogue and it was like, you know, it, like, you don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Good, you, you don't have to do that. I mean, that, that certain things just don't accompany salvation. God, it's just bro. not necessary <laughs> for your salvation. Right. Man. You know, after Yahusha, um, you know, the dirt on the cross, mm -hmm. you know, he had the apostles to preach the gospel. He had Peter, he had Paul. They wasn't out there, you know, like, all right. My shapatium, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he wasn't doing that. <laughs> Good, no, I'm just, regardless, it's so like you got it. You got Regardless, if you could justify something, yeah, it, it, you know what I'm saying. That don't mean that it accompanies salvation, though. You yep. might can justify it, but like, does it matter? Right. Is that really beneficial? Right. Come on, Is that bro. something that's like required according to the scriptures? You know, scriptures talk about putting on as the elect. You know, you want to do those things. You know. You don't do those things, man. You know, you, you don't uh, step outside the box and look at, you know, a particular scripture, precept upon precept and make that a doctrine. You, you could just read the scripture for what it's saying, man. Mm -hmm. You know, read the commandments, man. Mm -hmm. Start with, you can start with the greatest commandment. Mm -hmm. You know, you can filter it through there, man. Come on, brother. Yep. You can't go wrong if you do that. Yeah, come on, brother. Yep. You know, like, in, you know, was it a... What's the second Peter one? You do these things, you should never mm. fall. Yeah, <laughs> <Nah. laughs> yeah. That, those are the things that accompany salvation. That's yeah. like that's the things you're supposed to be focused on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like focused on the stuff that is gonna get you saved and those who hear you saved. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. God. Anything outside that is is really unnecessary. God. It's, like it's not it's not needed for right. your for your salvation. God, bro. You know, like we, we, we warn people, we talk about the prophecies, you know, we talk about the RFID microchip. Mm -hmm. we, we warn people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like, we, we want to uh, make sure <laughs> that we're talking about things that's going to accompany his salvation as well. Mm -hmm. Just only warning people not to take the chip, that's not accompanying salvation. <laughs> God, bro. If, that, if, you, if you could receive it, man. God, bro, because like you told me a while back. It's people that's gonna be keeping the law that's still not gonna get delivered. You can you can not take the chip and still the Lord still will kill you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that you can you can know oh shit, you know all day the chip. It's like I should have yeah. put a chip. Yeah. I should have put a chip in me. You know what I'm saying? But you, you don't take the chip and you still die. You know what I'm saying? So did they really knowing that the chip was the RFID micro chip was the mark of the beast? Did did that really like help you? Did did, did that really accompany salvation? You right. know what I'm saying? Like of course you don't. You, those who are of the lick are not going to take 
the chip, but there's gonna be some who are not of the lake who are gonna not take the chip. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, that Matthew 7, man. Matthew 7 and uh, was it 20, 20, 21, mm -hmm. 22? Yep. You know? There's gonna be men that, that's laboring, doing everything right, so to speak, you know, except for those things that accompany salvation. <laughs> you know? Being being a prophet, tell telling tell them warning the people, man, warning the flock not to, to uh, you know, to take the chip, just as an example, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. Which is very important, you know, to warn people not to take the chip, right. you know? But at the end of the day, scriptures talk about there's one that's wise and teacheth many, mm. but they're not unprofitable to themselves, you know? <laughs> so you could, you could, you know, you could warn the sheep, hey, don't go that way. Uh. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But what way, what way are you going? <laughs> You know, the day of the Lord, man, you could flee from a lion and the bear meet you, man. Mm. <laughs> you could escape from that from that mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? And still uh, get the lake, mm. you know, or whatever the spirit that's meant for, for, for vengeance, man. Mm. Yeah, because uh, in Revelation, the third chapter, you know, when they say uh, we brought it out yesterday in the lesson we did, it says, um, because uh, thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the hour of temptation. You know what I'm saying? So. It, th those who are gonna get kept from in, in the hour of temptation are the ones who kept the word of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, you gotta keep the word of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, mm -hmm. but that's 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 how you're gonna get kept. You know what I'm saying? Like even like mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah told us more than just uh, you know don't take a chip. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, it's a lot. It, you know. He didn't just tell us like, oh, be occupied in prophecies. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not that's not just keep that's not keeping his word. Like you just you know knowing knowing breakdowns. That's not keeping his word. You know, keeping his word is actually being <laughs> what the word told you. You know, doing what the word said. Like that's 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 keeping thy word. That again, it's Sirach 3 and 23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shoot unto thee than men understand. Yeah. So, more things been showed us than men understand, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's going to be a great deliverance by chariots. If you die, if you die in the Lord, you're still going to, you, you're still going to uh, get a reward. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we, we know what it takes to please your Habashim outside. Most most people don't under, understand what it takes to please your Habashim outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we, we, we've been shown, like, great things, man. So why, why the hell are we worried about other stuff, man? About, like, oh, m m a whole bunch of people going to die. Right. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Like, focus on what like, you've been shown. Like, bro, we, we haven't we been shown enough? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, about who going to die and who not right and who is right and who's through and who's not through man ain't you been shown enough you know mm -hmm. say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling man that's right i got one okay this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 13 it says, and therefore be not, it's like it. Second Ezra 9 and 13 says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. You know? So, you know, brothers, uh, I mean, they, they, you know, they, uh, which, you know, ourselves include, we, we, we understand that the two thirds, they gotta die, you know? Um, but brothers, I see a lot of videos of brothers describing the two third like it's really uh, as simple as as, as uh, just looking at somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's, it's where things are shooting unto you that men understand, man. And we can see in the scriptures, all right, men like Solar Chargers, all right, so, um, the man who was putting men of the Lord to death, all right, ended up being uh, one of the greatest greatest uh, men, mm -hmm. you know, in the form of Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's, it's, we just can't uh, look at somebody and say they're two third. That, that, that's that's beyond our understanding, man. Calm, More things are shooting onto us than that, man. Calm, bro. Calm, bro. But it's not what we're supposed to be inquiring about either. Exactly. You know right. Because it says, and therefore be not be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. You know. Jay coming the spirit of, of really like anticipating like oh I can't wait until this nigga go man. <laughs> God, <laughs> the righteous gonna rejoice when we see it the vengeance, man. You right, know? right. Can't you can't wait. Like Simba, you can't wait to be king. You can't wait till this <laughs> nigga go. <laughs> yeah, like like damn. Like I've been all oh, that 50, uh, 50 cent video in the, in the beginning, mini man. I've been waiting to murder this clown. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's not that's not what a company salvation, man. Yeah, yeah and imagine how you have us in my shots thinking when we're dead, man. You know, say we well, like you have us in my shot. He a man of war. He liked it. You have us in my shot, like man, I'll murder you. I'll murder you. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, we were saying. Uh, Possibly in another video, like ultimately, uh, like most high, he ain't playing with his name like that, man. Nah, bro. You know that's why it's a high level thing for men who actually have the name that's doing this work, that's preaching and teaching the, the sheep. You know, if you out here uh, throwing dirt in his name in the form of uh, painting him out to be someone who that he's he's not, man. Nah. We know he's a man of war. We know he's terrible and very great. But that should be more the reason you should be as humble as possible, mm -hmm. man. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. God, that's because we know his true terror, and that's why we persuade men <laughs> of uh, to, to focus on things that accompany salvation. <laughs> right, right. Like the like the like the kingpin. Like you think of a like a kingpin or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You working for him? You, you don't want to be out here just just because you working for him. You out here be like man, yeah man. I know him, and he, he he hey man, he gonna do this and that, this and that. Then we're get back to him. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be having a conversation with the kingpin like, yo, so you, so you said this? Come bro. Like, you're going to be begging for your life. Mm. That That's that's the spirit that you want to be in. You want to mm. be begging for your life. Yeah, yeah. More than anything, man. Yeah, come bro. Come. <laughs> Stay you ain't no made, man. <laughs> made, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? Because the kingpin, he can get, like, the, the other people, they might can't touch the made man, but the, the kingpin, he can get the made man hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Can't nobody else hit touch a made man, but the kingpin he can he can get the made man hit though, you know. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, I was on that. We jumping to uh, Sirach eleven. Uh -huh. yeah, this is one of my favorite scripts and chapters. Mm hmm. Sirach eleven and verse nine. It says, strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not, mm -hmm. and sit not in judgment with sinners. Right, so, of course, okay, of course you can't, we can't save a, a so to speak, two-third, you know what I'm saying? We can't save no one that's going to die. We can't save no one that's set up for destruction, you know what I'm saying? But we, we can't save nobody, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course, like, he set up saviors, you know what I'm saying? But we're, we're saving the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah my shop. You know what I'm saying? So when they say we can't, well, when we say we can't save nobody, we can't save nobody because we're not Yahweh Shah my shop. But as his servants and his representatives, we can save him through their through the spirit of him. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're supposed to be focused on. You know, through that through that power that's been bestowed upon us through the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah my shop. We're supposed to be focusing on saving others, man. Like you brought out in Second Ezra's the ninth chapter. You know, mm -hmm. but we aren't supposed to be striving in a matter that concerns thee not. But that don't mean, okay, this motherfucker two third man, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Like he gotta die, he gotta die. You just leave him alone and let him die. That's not what that mean, man. You know what I'm saying? That matter concerns us, 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 our people. You know, uh, our, our people uh, being faced with uh, death and destruction. That concerns us, man. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be mm -hmm. fighting to see them not, not go through, not, not have to suffer that, man. You know, not have to suffer that, man. Of course, we can only do so much, you know. But that, but that, that comes through operating within the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai Masha. That's the much we can do. If if you're not operating uh, in the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai Masha, you're not doing the most you can do, man. 
you're not doing the most, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they say strive not in the matter they're concerned of thee not, you know, shit, you be like, oh, these, 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 these people gotta die. No, you're supposed to be persuaded of things that accompany salvation, man. That concerns you. <laughs> you're, 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 cause you're focused on on salvation. You're it focused on how the righteous is gonna be saved. You know, so that concerns you. You know. Yep. Mm -hmm. Says so verse ten, my son, meddle not with many matters, for if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we said when you meddle much, you're not going to be innocent. You got corrupted from the simplicity that's in your house, my shop, man. You know, you stop focusing on the things that accompany salvation, man. And you, and now you've you, you made yourself impure. You know what I'm saying? Now you've uh, took away from that uh, that modesty, man. You know, and that innocence, man. You know, and now, now your house, my shop, going to have to, uh, gonna have to uh, charge you, man. Now you become chargeable, you know what I'm saying? Which we said we're supposed to be uh, unchargeable and without blame, man. In the sight of your house, shot my shot, man. You know, so we're not supposed to meddle in too many matters, man. You know, we, we're not going to worry about nothing that's not, uh, that ain't got nothing to do with salvation. That ain't got, that's not what we worried about. You know, the only thing we worried about is being saved and those who are going to be saved. That's it, you know. Point blank period. We ain't worried about who, who finna die, who's dying, who's through. Who's done? You know what I'm saying? Who, who who's a reprobate? You know what I'm saying? Who 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 is a a, a nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like that's not what we, we worried about salvation, man. That's what we should be worried about. You know? Right. I mean, I don't know if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You know? <laughs> right. It depends on what kind of gospel that you preach it, man. <laughs> kind of. Like the, I think the scripture put out yesterday. Kind. I got one on. Kind. This is in uh, Philippians 2, and I'm going to start from the top and read to like 3. This is uh, Philippians 2 and 1, it says, If there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. You know? Talking about the, the being like minded of, of who ultimately how is shy, man. You know, it says verse 3 let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. So, what we're teaching, right? We're not doing this to esteem ourselves, make ourselves look good out here, make someone else look like the most wicked, nigga, so to speak. Nah, man. We want to esteem others better than ourselves. If you ain't doing that, then you might as well not even, don't even meddle with that, man. Mm, yeah, kind of. <laughs> don't even meddle with yeah, that. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Your parents say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just don't even speak. Right. Yep. Yep. Say, and then they said, uh, what, uh, strife, let nothing be done through strife, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight? You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you about a, a, how a hasty contention shed of blood, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always want to contend with somebody, man. That's not what the hell. That's not what we're set up for, man. That's not that. That ain't got nothing to do with salvation, man. Hell you know, no. We, we fighting a good fight of faith. That's the only contention <laughs> your ass better be contending with. You know what I'm saying? You better fight to keep the faith. In, 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 uh, mm -hmm. in the word of our Lord Right Fight that flesh God, God, <laughs> uh, Yeah that's about it That's the only contending you need to be doing out here God Right Fight the spiritual wickedness man <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We uh First Timothy God This uh First Timothy chapter 4 mm. In verse 14 It says Look Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, mm. with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. A, it's a gift that was uh, supposed to be bestowed upon certain men. You know, 
you know, through prophecy, like we mentioned earlier in Isaiah the eighth chapter about the, the testimony that was uh binded up in the uh in, in, in the disciples. You know what I'm saying? That that was a prophecy. You know what I'm saying? And, they, 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 and that's a gift. That's a, that's a gift that we have the testimony of our Lord binded up in us. Lord willing, we be those men. You know what I'm saying? And we weren't supposed to neglect that, man. We weren't supposed to neglect that gift, man. You know? All right. Verse 15, it says, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them. It says, That thy profiting may appear to all. Mm, yeah, it says, give, give yourself wholly unto these things, man. You know? To, 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 to the testimony that's been bestowed, uh, that's, that's been uh, put within us. You know, by uh, through, through, the, uh, through prophecy, man. You know what I'm saying? Why? So we can let our profiting see, let let our profiting of um of of, of this be seen. We get onto it very easier. We you, you let these your property uh be seen. You know what I'm saying? This is how you it, 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 so you can wholly appear. Let let the profiting of 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 your service unto your house shot my shot be seen unto other men. Like what's what's that's doing for you? Like what 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 is uh being loving and, and kind and uh, joyous, you know what I'm saying, and temperate and meek. What is that doing for you? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's making you humble. It's making you low. It, it's, it's made you more faithful. You know what I'm saying? It's it's um it, it, it say uh, your your continence, your continence is shining. You know what I'm saying? Like things things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? People could see that and they could be like, dang, when you when you're in the spirit of our Lord, it really uh it, it really um. It, it, it really affords uh, things that are uh, beneficial, you know. Yep. Verse sixteen it says, "Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee." Ah, right, bro. Yeah. So you got to take heed to the doctrine, man. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Into that? Into thyself. It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Yeah, take heed unto thyself. How do you take heed unto thyself when you're examining yourself? You're making sure you're walking in the spirit that uh, Yahweh Shemashah would want us to be walking in, man. That's how, that's how you're taking heed to yourself, making sure you're, you're doing the things that Yahweh Shemashah would be pleased with, man. Making sure you're teaching properly, making sure you're feeding properly, making sure you're, you know, you're you're walking properly, you know what I'm saying? That's how you take heed to yourself, and then you also do it through the doctrine, because that's how you make sure you're doing the things that are well pleasing unto Yahweh Shemashah, because you're operating within the teaching and instruction that He's uh, told you to operate in. You know, that's and, and, and how. And when you do that, you're gonna save yourself, and you're gonna save others that hear you, man. You know, and that's that's focusing on things that accompany salvation, man. You know, for for yourself. And for others, that's it, man. That's the only thing you're supposed to be focused on. You know? That's how you're going to be saved. Through taking heed unto thyself and to the doctrine and neglecting not the gift that was bestowed, put within you, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Yep. Last one was in Matthew five. I had one. If you wanted to end off in uh, Matthew five. Okay. Um, which which one you think, brother? Kind. Okay. Um, let me get this in Romans eleven. This is in. Um, I might want to land back with Isaiah fifty nine, but I could just jump to it. Uh, this is Romans eleven and verse twenty six. It says, "And so all Israel shall be saved." As it is written, there shall come out of Zion to deliver, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For it says, "For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins." Um, you got it. Ah, no, yeah. Read, read, read one time. I focus up. It says Romans eleven and twenty six. It says, "And so all Israel shall be saved, mm. as it is written." There shall come out of Zion to deliver and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because when you read up in this chapter, you know, it's speaking about, uh, uh, Apostle Paul was speaking about the election, mm -hmm. you know, and the rest who were blinded, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So um, he was, he was, it was leading up to this, like basically, you know, the election, they, they gonna get it. The rest who are not of the elect, they not gonna get it. But at the end of the day, 
everybody gonna get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, don't don't worry about who don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry about who who do got it. Just just hope you got it. And 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? And and, and do the things that you're supposed to be doing. And, and, and just know that at the end of the day, everybody gonna get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. I was gonna land back that with Isaiah 59 because um, this is where he was quoting. You know. Um, Isaiah 59, I believe it's verse 20. It says, Isaiah 59 and 20 says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. It says, And unto them that turn from transgression and Jacob, said the Lord. As for me, verse 21, it says, As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, all right, which we know that's talking about the elect, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth. Mm nor out of the mouth of thy seed Ooh. all right nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed mm -hmm. said the lord from henceforth and forever that's fire so all israel is going to be saved man that's fire starting with the elect but this is this is you know this is the the, the full matter man all right two-thirds gotta die okay but ultimately all right the seed all right is gonna still have that covenant you know you don't want to uh stray away from that man you know if you want to you know talk about you know the ungodly well you just read it in uh, Romans 11, right? That ungodliness, let me just not butcher it, you know. Because back in Romans 11, it says that uh, when we talk about ungodliness, it says in verse 11, Romans 11 and 26, it says, And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Zion to deliver, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. All right? So this is the end all be all. This is what's going to happen at the end of the day, man. You know? Through, through all the prophecies coming to pass, this is this is what's gonna uh, end up happening. All Israel is gonna be saved, you know, and that's that's good news. This is something that should be preached, man. That's something that that that's edifying, you know, to people who who don't even know what they're Israelites, understanding that okay, two thirds gonna die. I mean, that that's not gonna help them out when they go go home and you know what I'm saying, eat their uh, you know macaroni and cheese, collard greens, you know. But understand that all Israel is gonna be saved. <laughs> I mean that 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 that's good, man. God, bro. God, bro. Yeah, that's that's more profitable than knowing that two thirds gonna die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was just gonna get in uh, Revelation. Uh, was it 14? Because we understand it starts with the elect. This is Revelation 14 and verse. The point is in verse four. It says, it's talking about the elect. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahabashim Haushai yep. and to the lamb. Mm -hmm. You got it. I was going to get that word for first fruits. Kind of, kind of, yep. Um, yeah, so these were not defiled with women, man. And that, and that represents other doctrines, other philosophies other rudiments of the world and, and traditions of men, you know what I'm saying? Those are those women, you know what I'm saying? They weren't defiled with it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They kept their purity, they kept their innocence, they kept the simplicity of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, you know? They focused on the things that accompany salvation for themselves and for others, and that was it, man. Them the ones that wasn't defiled until, uh, uh, the defiled with women, and guess what? They was the first fruits until Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know? Mm-hmm, right. Get that first fruits because yeah. ultimately like we brought out earlier you know yahweh when he was getting smacked he he could have he could have rendered evil for evil so mm -hmm. to speak God. you know what i'm saying God. he could have did that but would that accompany salvation for israel man right you know yeah. if he sent legion of, of angels man God. God, <laughs> that, that wasn't gonna accompany salvation <laughs> yep that's beautiful yep he's supposed to be walking in the stead of our lord Khan. that were first fruits Strong's G, 536. Aparche. Aparche. Just to jump to the point, it says, persons superior in excellence to others of the same class. You know? So being superior, man, be an excellent spirit, a superior spirit, all right, is going uh, to have that salvation, man. You know, it's going to be redeemed from the earth, man. It's going to be saved, man. You know, like I like bringing out, you know, Psalms 32, 1 and 2, man. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, man, whose spirit there's no guile. That's the, that's the first fruits, man. You know, 
They're going to do things. All right, they're going to follow the lamb wherever so if he goeth, man. Yeah. Regardless of who going where, they going with the lamb going. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. So, uh, yeah, Matthew 3, Matthew 5. Yeah, kind of. This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3. How shall I speak it? It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Kind. Blessed are the poor in spirit, man. You know, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So that, that's 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 what we want to be, man. We want to be those right here that are blessed, you know, because it says, For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You know, we're not going to be out here um, exerting ourselves, make, making ourselves look good while making somebody else look bad, you know. We want to warn the sheep, let them know not not to go a particular way, you know. But we we, we could do it with, with love, man. Mm -hmm. Like there's a way you could preach a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. You you don't you don't got to uh, do it in the form of malice, you know. You do it where everybody's benefited, man. Even the so-called false prophet, Lord willing, they repent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Warn warn them about the false prophet, and Lord willing, that false prophet could be a true prophet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not make it to where everybody could uh, get delivered? You know, I mean, hypothetically speaking, yeah, low, God, yeah. like within the, within uh, whoever has the ears to hear. God, brother, God, bro. Like hoping the best for everyone, man. Hoping the best for everyone, man. Why anybody got to be through, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If they do, they gonna be through when yeah, but see my son says through. So why they gotta be through? God, not. Who the right. hell are you? You how about see my outside? Right. You know. My brothers could do a video like we saying, you know, we just using, uh, was it, uh, Tazariak, uh, one of them ICPK guys, uh, you know? Uh, General Johanna? Yeah, I think so. You know, we, we uh, do a, a message to him, you know what I'm saying? Warning people, you know, uh, about him and the things that he's talking about. But, you know what I'm saying? What, what if you could say something to him and Lord willing, something clicks with him and he repents? Like, how much, how much reward are you going to get for that, man? Mm. If he, if he repents, man. Mm -hmm. You know? about that in James 5 and 20. Right. So God. him they converted for sinner from the error of his way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So how the multitude of sins we bro, we all should be trying to get some sins hid out here. Yep. You know? Yes. So, so you can be hid in the day of the Lord. You know? Come. Come. That that accompanies salvation, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you'll get one more for me out. It's Jewel uh, 1 and 21, I believe. Well, it's only one chapter. Come. verse 21 um, it says I can start at 20 it says but yea beloved build up yourselves on your most holy faith praying on the Holy Spirit keep yourselves in the love of Yahweh Bashim Shai, looking for the mercy of our Lord Mashiach Yahweh Shai unto eternal life yeah that's what it's all about man keeping ourselves in the love of the Holy Spirit man. you know what I'm saying looking for mercy for ourselves and for others man you know what I'm saying Things uh, focusing on uh, a company salvation. We're supposed to be persuaded of better things to, of you, things that accompany salvation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right? Yeah, life. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, just preach things that's gonna give life to people, man. Preaching life into the dry bones. Mm -hmm. You know, the gospel. That that's 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 life, man. Eternal salvation, man. That's something that we do need to be preaching, not just a death. If, I mean, I come mean, on, man. Point blank period, yeah. You know, what the fuck Esau finna do? You know what I'm saying? You know what Esau finna do? Esau finna take his ass into slavery. That's what he's finna do, you know? And, and, and anybody that Esau get his hands on, guess what? Yeah, how about you, my shot? Let him put his hands on, you know? Of right. course, you need to be warned of Esau, but fuck all that. Let's, 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 let Esau is the harbinger of death. We're not the harbingers of death. You know what I'm saying? He is as death. We're not as death. We're as life. We're clean contrary to his ways, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. We stand on here. We're going on 20. Uh, I'm going on uh, 20. I was on that. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. Did you read 21 or 22? Con, um, 
I read 21, it says, Keep yourselves in the love of the Habashim Shai, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, until eternal life. It says, And of some have compassion, mm -hmm. making a difference. Yep. Some, some, what's the next one say? Uh, it says, And others save with fear, mm -hmm. pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some you save with compassion, some you save with fear, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the balance right there, man. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta put compassion in the mix, man. You gotta uh you you you, you gotta uh and, and, and yes you have to put fear in the mix in the mix because that's the god that's god that's a godly nature. You right. know what I'm saying? But fear uh encompasses more than just what the Lord gonna do to you if you're not uh doing one or two or a certain group of things. You know what I'm saying? Like the fear is also entailed about what can happen to us if we're not doing things a certain type of way, man. You know what I'm saying? So through that fear that we feel, that's that's how we can help save others. You know what I'm saying? Because that energy. You know what I'm saying? And some we, we we save through compassion, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go, man. Like compassion is a part of this, man. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because that's a part of what's uh, accompanying salvation. You know. And the fear of Yahweh Shimon Shai, it accompanies salvation as well, man. You know, but it's a, it's it's a uh, way to express that. You know, you're supposed to express that through the the Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit of love, you know, like we just read up in Jude. Mm hmm. Kind of, yeah, that's all I got. Kind of, um, there's more Matthew 5. Or, uh, um, that, um, did, did I have more on that? Or is it just on? Use like 3 through 12. We just read it up. Oh, okay, kind of, yes, a lot. Okay. Back in Matthew 5, in verse 3, it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, these things accompany salvation here, man. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, mm -hmm. for they shall be filled. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yep. Blessed are the pure. Oh, read that one more time. Kind of. <laughs> Blessed are the merciful, uh -huh. for they shall obtain mercy. So if you're not merciful, you're not obtaining mercy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As well, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you, you, you out here saying, okay, what's, what's going to happen? You know, you got to repent so you can receive mercy. But you're not merciful. You're not You're not getting the mercy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're telling people they need to, you know, be focused on mercy because the Lord's going to do some very... Uh, Horrible things, but you're not being merciful. You're not getting no mercy. Mm-hmm. Right. You call out a particular person and say, "Hey, and you, you are going to be destroyed." That, that that's not an example of having mercy, yeah, man. Nah. That, that that's not someone. Uh, according to Yahweh man, this is not us speaking. This is red letter, man. Yahweh he makes it plain. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. So there's no way around that, man. Nah, bro. But the hell, and what's hard about that? What's hard about that? Is it how about some outside going to destroy you because you're not being merciful? <laughs> get the, get, come on, man. That sounds crazy, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says, verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Those who are pure in heart, those are the ones who keep the simplicity of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. They haven't been corrupted in their minds. Right. Haven't been defiled by women, you know. Right. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Those are the children that you have by Shemashad. If you're not a peacemaker, you're 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 a child of Satan. Mm -hmm. You know. I'll tell you about that in the first John, the third chapter. Mm hmm It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, man. You know what I'm saying? Those who, man, and what what is uh, righteousness uh, embody? Righteousness in, embodies equity and justice, man. You know, uh, pr uh, proper judgment. You know, that's what that's that's what uh, righteousness embodies. You know what I'm saying? Not non hypocrisy. You know, love. You know, uh, mercy. You know, faith. You know, hope. Hope in all things. You know, arms. You know. Tell you about uh, 
how arms go, arms and righteousness go hand in hand. You know, right. those those who are persecuted for for being in that spirit and operating, you know, you know, uh, operating in, in, in that type of manner, those are the ones who are going to be blessed. Those are the ones that's going to be happy, man. You know. It says, "Blessed are ye, which men shall revile, uh, revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake." Kind, yeah, and that word "revile," uh, if I'm not mistaken, on Google it goes into uh, to criticize in an abusive manner, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're criticizing someone in, in, in an abusive manner because they're in the spirit of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, or they're saying that we're supposed to walk in a certain certain uh, certain type of uh, state, man. They just, people, people are saying you evil because you, you know you, you're trying to uh, you know keep the plainness and simplicity of our Lord, man. You know because you want to be humble, you want to be meek. You know what I'm saying you want to hope the best, you want to be merciful, man. You know don't, don't the ones that's in, in, in that nature and again persecuted for that, blessed are those men. You know what I'm saying? And guess what's gonna happen to those men who are not <laughs> get being persecuted for those type of things? They're they're not going to be blessed. They're gonna be blessed. A lot of people in Jacob's trouble gonna be disappointed, man. You know, Lord willing, it's not us. Right. You know. Yep. Yeah. I shall prophesy about it. God, bro. A lot of men think. A lot of men think they man of the Lord. <laughs> gonna be in for a rude awakening. Right. Yep. It's a fearful thing, man. God. Verse twelve it says, "Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven." For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they prosecute, persecuted the prophets that was before us, man. Why? Because they was thirsting after righteousness' sake, man. You know, they they, they was uh, craving for mercy and peace. You know, they was craving for love and they was being temperate, man. You know, they was being meek. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's the reasons why they got persecuted, man. You know, mm -hmm. Jeremiah, Nehemiah, Ezra. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Zacharias. Zechariah, you know, Zechariah, you know? Mm -hmm. right? Like, um, like in Ezra's, you know, like we like bringing out that account in the second chapter, you know, where it talks about who are these, you know, these, what they, are these? you know, yeah, <laughs> what are these? Yeah, yeah not man. even who are these, what are these, man? <laughs> That's an excellent spirit, man. Yeah, ooh. You know, mm. and those are the ones that stood stiffly upon the name of Yahabashim Hasha, man. Mm. You know, and, and those are the men who is going to uh, obtain that salvation, man. You know, that's not straying away. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Doing things for their own belly, making themselves seem great. Nah, man. You know, those are the ones who are truly in that in that spirit. Like, how should I describe these people right here, man? You know, it says, great is your reward in heaven. Yeah. And and uh, I was going to make that point that Ezra's, you know, like you made that point before a while ago that Ezra's was in that spirit. A lot of uh, second Ezra's is him just kind of like... Like being sad about mm -hmm. the state of our people, you know what I'm saying having that love for our people, man. Yeah. You know, and he received that vision, mm -hmm. you know, of of uh, of the elect, basically, man, mm -hmm. obtaining yeah. the crown and yeah. getting that crown from Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, man. Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. With that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who were well. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Enduring afflictions, making a call and election sure. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. DTA. Shalom.